in case of this sentence the banana tree ate the elephant orthat kolar gas ti hati tike khe fello do you want to say that it is a sentence if you want to say that it is a sentence what is your logic behind your opinion but if you don't want to say that it is a sentence so what is your logic behind your opinion do you want to learn from me if yes please let me come back after an intro today we are going to learn sentence so what is sentence what is called a sentence 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 he walks she hate he walks in the morning she sokal bala hate walks he no meaning that means i want to say this is a sentence this is a sentence but it is not a sentence so what is the reason as to why we can't say that it is not a sentence it is not a sentence what's the reason what's the reason as to why we can say this is a sentence and this is a sentence he walks she hate because he walks he walks she hate it has a meaning he walks in the morning she sokal bela hate it also has a meaning so we can say it is a sentence and it is also a sentence apart from this the two sentences here have followed the structure apart from this the first two sentences have followed the rules of syntax subject verb subject verb extension but in this sentence there is no structure of sentence there is no structure of sentence how many words here here two words how many works here more than more than two words traditionally we say that when two or more than two words sitting side by side express meaning the very group of words containing a subject and a verb is called a sentence orthat dui ba tadik shobdo pasapashi boshe jodi ortho pradan kore tokhon sei shobdo guchhoke sentence bole but in case of this sentence the banana tree ate the elephant kolagashti hati tike khe phello the banana tree ate the elephant do the sentence has a meaning do the sentence has a subject and a predicate a subject and a finite verb in some cases we can say it is a sentence but in some cases we can't say it is a sentence normally we have to think that if a sentence has the characteristics of syntax and semantics the very group of words is called a sentence so first of all we have to think syntax syntax is it syntactically right is the sentence syntactically right so what is called a syntax what is called a syntax syntax is the study of structure of a sentence in a language so if we think on the basis of syntax yes the banana tree it is subject ate the elephant it is predicate apart from this in another way if we think that the banana tree is subject ate here find it verb now we have to think about whether the sentence has the characteristics of semantics or not the banana tree ate the elephant kola gasta kola gasti hati tike khe phello khe khe phello on the basis of semantics if we think that the banana tree ate the elephant 
अर्थात कला गाचटी कला गाचटी हाथीटी के खे फिल नाउ यू हेव टू थिंक दैट ह्वाट इज कल्ड सिमेंटिक्स सिमेंटिक इज द स्टाडी अफ मिनी अफ वर्ड्स और फ्रेसेस और क्लोजेस और सेंटेंसेस अफ अ लैंगुएज इट अल्सो गिवस डिक्शनारी बेस्ड मिनिंगस सो उ कैन से देंटेंस हेज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स अफ सीमें सीमें टी सो नाउ उ कैन से दिस सेंटेंस इज syntactically correct because it has the characteristics of syntax in some cases we can't say that it is a sentence because though the sentence has the characteristics of syntax though the sentence has the characteristics of semantics the sentence doesn't have the characteristics of fact matrix so what is called fact matrix and what's the function of pragmatics in a sentence pragmatic is also the study of meaning but it is also the study of meaning of real situation it touches our practical sense it also touches our real situation in our practical life in our reality it can't happen the banana tree ate the elephant एक कलर गाच कख एक हाथी के खेते इट अल्सो एक्सामाइन्स द मिनिंग अफ अ सेंटेंस हुएदार द मिनिंग अफ द सेंटेंस इज न्याचाराली रिलेवेंट और नट इट इज अल्सो क्वैट इम्पसिबल फर अ बनाना ट्री टू इट द एलिफेंट डियर लर्नार्स आई हाव अ क्वेश्चन ट्री यू नाउ कैन यू से वेन टू और मोर दैन टू वार्डस सीटिंग side by side express meaning the very group of words having a subject and a finite verb is a sentence i hope now the answer is in you tahole sentence ka ke bole ekhon amra khub shohojei bolte parbo sentence ka ke bole syntax semantics ebong pragmatics onushoron kore jokhon dui ba totodhik shobdo pasapashi boshe अर्थ प्रदान कर तक ताके सेंटेंस बोल दैट मीस फलोईंग सिनटैक्स सीमेंटिक्स एंड पैटमेटिक्स हुएन टू और मोर दैन टू वार्डस सीटिंग सैड बै सैड एक्सप्रेस मिनिंग द भेरि ग्रुप अफ वार्डस इज कल्ड सेंटेंस एक कमप्लीट सेंटेंस ए दूटी अंश था दैट मीस आ कमप्लीट सेंटेंस हेज टू पार्टस नम्बर वन सबजेक्ट एंड नम्बर टू प्रेडिकेट जे व्यक्ति वस्तु सम्पर्क बला लिखा है ताके सबजेक्ट बोले दैट मीस द सबजेक्ट इज अल्सो अ पार्ट अफ अ सेंटेंस अबाउट हूम और ह्वाट the sentence is here in the sentence the subject is he goes to school goes to school has been told or has been described about he so we can say subject is a part of this sentence about whom or what the sentence is told the sentence is about in other words we can say subject is also the doer of the action arthat je byakti ba bostu somporke kichu bola hoy ba kichu lekha hoy take subject bole so what is called predicate predicate is also the part of a sentence that tells something about the subject here goes to school is the predicate predicate because this is something that tells something about the subject arthat ja subject ba karta somporke bole take predicate bole here in this sentence he goes to school he goes to school he goes to school is also a part of this sentence 
that tells something about the subject. So we can say predicate, predicate, predicate is also a part of this sentence that tells something, tells goes to school about he. So here goes to school is predicate. Based on meaning, the sentence can be divided into five kinds. Number one, assertive sentence. Assertive sentence. Number two, interrogative negative sentence. Number three, imperative sentence. Number four, optative sentence. And number five, exclamatory, maturity sentence.